welcome everybody to the channel. I just want to take you on a little road trip to where I get most of my cool rocks for my aquariums and kind of explain to you why I have such hard water where I live. This is just kind of a cool little creek area that I go to with the kids, usually mostly during the summer. I did try to order a microphone, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but it didn't work, so I had to send it back. Really but beautiful day, it's not cold. I have my Dr. Who scarf on. My last name's Tennant, so if you get that joke, you're awesome. I have really hard water because I have a lot of calcium and magnesium. Here where I live, there's a lot of caves. If you dig anywhere, you're going to hit a rock. Let me show you the area where I'm. But it's this little bridge that me and the kids get most of the cool rocks for the aquariums. I am hoping to get some 20 longs soon so I can pick up some new guppies. Hopefully it'll give me a reason to order some new guppies soon. This is usually really filled with not fast flowing, but pretty steady flowing water. Living here in Missouri, we have high levels of calcium and magnesium in our water. So we do have harder water and that magnesium in the water will react to soap and it makes it a little bit harder to leather up so if you simply use soap and wash your hands and kind of pay attention to that you can see if you have harder or soft water a little bit easier because that magnesium will react i believe it's sodium strirate that it reacts to and that makes a magnesium strirate and that is insoluble in water, I believe. But we, I also have problems with lime scale. And that just comes from your water being heated up and kind of stagnant. That will leave that lime scale. And that calcium scale also comes from that magnesium, I believe, too. And we have lots of problems with that in Missouri. It's in our dishwashers. It's in our wash machines, our showers. We just have that constant buildup that we have to fight with with our aquariums to constantly keep clean. And it's just unpleasant to look at. It doesn't really do anything that I've noticed bad to the, my guppies. It's just unpleasant and unsightly. But you really want to pay attention to and know if your water is hard or soft when choosing new fish. This is something you do need to pay attention to. Your water in your fish tank is one of the most important parts of their, their environment, their ecosystem. Knowing if your water is hot or soft is actually very important when choosing fish. You want to keep this in mind because not all species of fish can handle all waters. But since it's just a simply, it's a finally not cold. It's finally a beautiful day. The kiddos are all at school and I just kind of wanted to get out and have a moment, recharge. I'm kind of a loner and I like to do things by myself a little bit. So it's nice to just kind of get out and enjoy the day. But let's get started on cleaning that fish tank. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But I really just wanted to take you out on a little road trip. Sometimes it's nice to get out of the fish room a little bit and get out of the books. Enjoy some time while the kids are at school. It gets a little crazy. Life gets a little hectic. So let's go ahead and get started on cleaning that fish tank. I'm going to head back to the house, go pick up the kids soon and show you the simple steps I take to clean that fish tank. It's not hard at all. It's just kind of, it's just kind of mildly annoying to constantly have to do this, but this aquarium I've had forever. I just turned 33 actually, and I've had it since I was 12. So, and there's only been a small span of time in my life that I haven't had some kind of fish tank. I've had cichlids, catfish, I've had sharks, I've had a rope fish, I've had grommies, angelfish, and I've pretty much broken the rules and kept them with a bunch of different species that 
shouldn't have been together, but it worked. But let's go ahead and head back to the house. It's just really peaceful here. And it's so close to the house. It's really fun in the summer. But let's get to cleaning and I'll check back in with you guys in just a minute. This is the 10 gallon aquarium. I wanted to share with you guys the process of cleaning this off and getting all this really unsightly scum off the front of this aquarium. So stay tuned for that process. I do currently have guppies in this aquarium. I recently added a couple of mono shrimp, which I currently can only find one at the moment. And then I do have a bristle nose pleco in here. And in this breeder box, it's really hard to see, but I do have one little fry in here that's starting to swim around a little bit better. Just right there along the surface of that breeder box. So stay tuned. The plan that I do have for this aquarium once I do have it all cleaned up is to move my other blue tuxedo guppies into this tank. These guppies are currently starting to nip at each other since all the females did die recently. So I do need to move the females over to this aquarium. But I do want that five gallon tank right now to have the fry to grow out in and not have any dangers from any type of nipping, chasing, or the threat of getting eaten. But the first step I am going to take in getting this all cleaned up is doing a significant water change. I'm going to drain this water down pretty low so I can get that lime scale calcium build up off the front of that glass. So stick around and stay tuned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the filter. I'm going to take this off and spray that with some hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to take that, I believe it's green bearded algae off, and then spray that down and go ahead and change that cartridge. I'm not a super big fan of this type of filter, but it's what I can get at the moment. I'm also going to take a razor blade and chip away and scrape that scum off right there that lime scale and calcium buildup. I'm going to take a razor blade to that and get that all cleaned up and then I'm going to add some really good prime water conditioners and refill this water up and go ahead and get those other guppies moved over. So let's go ahead and get this started. Just remember Water does go through a natural cycle where it's a little bit softer, more acidic as rainwater. Then it goes through the streams, the creeks, the rivers, the oceans. It seeps down through the ground and picks up minerals and becomes harder. So it's just an interesting cycle to keep in mind to learn about. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and notification bell below to get your update over this fish aquarium tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up and clean up my mess and move those guppies over. So check back tomorrow to get your update. Go ahead and like, share, and leave a comment below. Check out the description box also for other links to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy!